What's this Scooby do? We're coming after you. You're gonna solve that mystery. I see you, Scooby do. The trail leads back to you. What's this Scooby do? Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. What's this Scooby do? Good morning, Comer Greyhounds, and happy Thursday. I am Janice English. And Elsa Bray, here with your CHGV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before we get started, we would like to wish everyone a happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys, and another happy birthday to those celebrating this weekend. This month, we are celebrating Women's History Month. Some ways to celebrate can include reading books by female authors and educating yourself about women's issues. And even as we leave Black History Month, remember to keep an intersectional mindset when it comes to experiences of women now and throughout history. For example, 1920 marks the year the 19th Amendment passed, granting women the right, granting women the right to vote. But did you know that Native American, Black, and Asian women couldn't exercise their right to vote until much later? Even within the women's community, our experiences vary based on our various identities, including race, ethnicity, ability, disability, national origin, sexual orientation, religion, class, and more. So those are some good things to keep in mind. On another note, if you're still thinking about classes for next year, then we encourage you to go out of your comfort zone and try some new things. So to get us started with today's show, let's take a look at what construction classes are all about. Uh, my name is Mr. Coglin and I teach uh, principles of construction. Construction class is an introductory level class uh, where you're going to learn about all facets of residential construction, all the way from uh, foundation through exterior trim. I took construction not for any particular reason, kind of just in third year I was looking through the courses and it just stood out to me. It looked like a fun class to take. And so I just took it, and here I am now. So in, in construction, the equipment that we use, everything from hammers, nails, saws, uh, cutting instruments. My favorite part of construction is that it's not a normal academic class. It's such like a class where you can go and just like chill. Like It's just a fun class to take. My least favorite part of construction is definitely how messy you get. Procedures we take in construction, again, we assume that students have never used many of the tools and uh, items that we use in class. So we take them from ground zero to all the way up through how to use them uh, in, in certain situations. We've done two projects, I guess. Like at the beginning of the year, we made a mascot project where we made a duck, so that was fun. And then the rest of the year, we've just been working on the house, kind of, and it's fun. And I, we're right now just finished framing, or we're working on framing. And my favorite part was probably doing that because we got to put a lot of nails in, and that's the most fun for me right now. Um, once we finish the house, we get to just knock it down. Like we have to take. We need to take all the nails, the screws out, take everything apart, and the concrete that we did, we need to smash it. We just have to take everything apart, so it's just an empty classroom again for next year. So students should take instruction because it's a great chance to learn about not only the construction field, but also uh, learn how to work with classmates. I think that everyone should take construction because it's just a fun and easy class to take, and it's also a good opportunity to learn just like life skills in general. It's not just a class at Carmel that you're taking, you're learning the skills for life. Sounds pretty cool to me. I know, right? Now, let's head over to Morgan Mace with the weather. Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Morgan Mace, here with your weather update. Today, we will be experiencing slightly colder temperatures than the last few days, with a high of 48 and a low of 28. Tomorrow, we will stay on the chillier side, with a high of 51 and a similar low of 27. Looking ahead to the weekend, we can expect to have a very nice Saturday with temperatures reaching the low 70s with a high of 71 and a low of 41. All while having sunny skies, Sunday will drop back down a little, but we will still have a nice day with a high of 64 and a low of 47. That's all I have for you today. Now let's send it over to Hallie and Kirby with our entertainment update. Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Hallie Reeves. And I'm Kirby Biggs, here with your entertainment update. 
Batman premier premieres tonight, but general release is this Friday. Robert Patterson will play Batman and Zoe Kravitz will play Catwoman. The reviews have been crazy good for this movie, so I'm excited to see if it exceeds my expectations. Now, Kirby, the real question is, Robert Patterson and Batman or Robert Patterson and Twilight? Most definitely him and Batman. His acting and his like character just looks better. What about you? I would have to say in Batman, the trailers are looking really mm -hmm. good, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to see if he exceeds the expectations. Yeah. So in Carmel News, Carmel photographer Robin Belmo selected as part of the Team USA World Photographer Cup. The best photographers from 35 countries competed for gold, silver, and bronze medals. What an exciting opportunity to represent Indiana. Well, that's all we have for your entertainment update. Moving to sports, CHTV's Charlie Baker sat down with members of this year's baseball team. Let's hear what they have to say and then send it back to the host desk. My name is Dylan Zener and I'm a junior pitcher on the baseball team. My name is Jack Ergot. I'm a junior and I'm a pitcher. My name is Noah Bradbury. I'm a junior and I pitch. I'm Cameron Haney. I'm a junior pitcher. Uh, my favorite memory of playing baseball was when I was 12 and we won uh, the Cooperstown uh, Dreamers Park Tournament and we were the first team ever from Indiana to win it. And I think that year we were like the fifth or sixth best team in the country and it was probably my favorite year to ever play baseball. My favorite memory from baseball is throwing my no hair this past summer. So one of my favorite memories from baseball was sectionals versus Zionsville last year. There's like 1,500 people there. Um, that's like the first time I've ever pitched in front of like that many people. So it was pretty exciting. And then um, we uh, ended up winning like eight to five. Um, the main reason I play baseball is it's really fun. I find it entertaining. A lot of people don't. I think it's fun. I think it's fun to watch. And then another big part is the relationships. A lot of my best friends are baseball players. They're on the baseball team. We hang out outside of school. I feel like that makes us better on the baseball field, which, I mean, we ju just helps us win. Like, it just makes you better if, you're, if you like who you play with. I play baseball because it was the first sport I started playing, and it just stuck. I've always just played it, like, since I was a kid. I've always just loved it. I've always wanted to play in college. So it's not like... There's one specific reason that I love playing baseball. It's just I always just have. I like baseball because uh, you get to play a sport that you like with all the guys that you like. At the beginning of the year, like when teams are made and you're just with your teammates all the time, uh, you see them every day at school, you hang out, you're at practice with them for two, three hours after school, and then you have games all the time. And it's just fun, the bus rides are fun. Um, and it doesn't even feel like you're like, you're like working, like practicing, because it's just, you're just with uh, people, you're having fun and you're getting better and working towards your goals. The best part about the Carmel season would be the first game. Um, the best part about Carmel season, definitely um, sectionals, because there's just something different about playing like big games against good teams. Um, you just like get that adrenaline rush, it's great, you know. The most favorite part about baseball at Carmel is the, our sectionals. Those are pretty intense and, you know, I like the energy and how many people show up and you just get really like pumped up and motivated to go play a good game. Announcements. Are you, are you caught up in Wordle fever and can't get enough of word games? Stop by the library to join in on the weekly Boggle competition going on for the month of March. Grab an answer sheet and take all week to work on finding as many words in the jumbled grid. The person with the most words win a prize. Weekly submissions are due by 4.15 p.m. each Friday. Open to both students and staff. FCA meets tomorrow morning at 8.15 in the freshman cafeteria. The South Asian Culture Club will be meeting Friday. Come out to play cultural games and enjoy ethnic food. The Carmel Artists Association is taking submissions now for projects to be hung up in the library. Projects can be turned in in room C-125. These should be turned in by tomorrow. Any junior who applied for the GCOM Council for the 2022 to 2023 school year should check their email for instructions to sign up for an interview, interview time for next week. Please see Mrs. Kelly in H-227B or Mr. Reinberg in H-317 if you have any questions. If you are a current 9th through 11th grader who is interested in helping upperclassmen who are new to CHS acclimate, then you should apply to be in Greyhound Connections. Greyhound Connections is a special SSRT that helps new upperclassmen. 
Applications must be picked up in person from Mr. Stolpe in room E233. Auditions for advanced and repertory theater will take place during SSRT, March 15th. Have you always wanted to perform on stage? Well, now's your chance. You can audition into a higher level theater course. We produce multiple plays a year. For more information, see Mrs. Cassidy or stop by her room in E151. Returning back by popular demand is Pet of the Year. For those of you who have already submitted a picture of your pet, will be compiled into a March Madness style tournament. On March 17th, official voting will begin on our Instagram page at Carmel TV. We will be featuring 32 of your pets. Throughout the month, pets will be eliminated until the winner is chosen on March 31st. First place will receive a $100 gift card to Petland, while second will receive $50 and third will receive $25. Be sure to get your submissions in for Pet of the Year before March 17th. And make sure to follow our Instagram at Carmel TV, our Twitter at CHTV. And this week's show will be up on our YouTube channel, CHTV Carmel Television, so go check them out. For CHTV, this has been Janice English and Elsa Bray. Have an amazing Thursday, and remember there are only four more Fridays till spring break. And 12 more Fridays till summer break, so we'll see you guys next week. Stay tuned.